Hi, I'm Dr. Manak Sood, the Section Head of Cardiac Surgery here at St. Joseph Mercy Health System. Providing the latest and highest quality technology with personal, compassionate service is our goal at St. Joe's. We're sharing this video with you to help educate you about your surgical experience so you may achieve the most optimal outcome. We know that some patients feel nervous or even scared about cardiac surgery. That's normal. Our skilled team of surgeons, anesthesiologists, nurses, and healthcare professionals all want you to have a positive experience at St. Joe's and we'll do our best to make your experience as comfortable and stress-free as possible. We hope to answer many of your questions about your procedure over the next few minutes and give you information to help you prepare for your operation and recovery. While this video will contain most of the information you need, every doctor's approach is unique and every patient has individual needs. If you have any questions along the way, please speak with your doctor, nurse, or any of our team members. We're here for you. Thank you for choosing St. Joseph Mercy Health System. Once cardiac surgery is indicated, you will have an appointment with your surgeon. We encourage you to bring a family member with you to this and all future appointments. In the surgeon's office, you will be greeted by a receptionist and other medical staff and taken back to an exam room. Here, you will discuss surgery options with your surgeon. He or she will review your medical history and testing, answer your questions, and order further testing. You will have a second appointment with a nurse where you'll review your preoperative instructions and discuss arrival time for the day of surgery. Your surgery day will arrive a few days after your initial appointment. Here's a few tips to follow. On the day of surgery, please make sure to arrive promptly at your scheduled time. You will park in parking lot Q then enter the building through the doors just under the Imaging Center and Family Birth Center canopy. Check in at the registration desk in the lobby. You'll then be directed to the preoperative area and waiting room on the second floor. If you're traveling from out of town, the Macaulay Inn offers on-site accommodations for you and your loved ones. You may call 734-712-2600 to make a reservation. Once in the family waiting area, you will check in again, be handed a beeper, and wait to be called by the nurse. Your wait time will vary depending on the amount of scheduled and emergency surgeries taking place on the same day as yours. We try our best to keep your wait time to a minimum prior to calling you back to the preoperative area. The family waiting room is where your loved ones can wait comfortably during your surgery. Coffee and refreshments are available for them. Once you are called back to the preoperative area, you will meet with your nurse and anesthesiologist. The nurse will ask you many questions about your health status that day, and your anesthesiologist will explain the process and discuss any questions you may have. Two people are permitted to visit with you in your pre-op room before you head back to surgery. Your anesthesiologist will place a special IV line in your neck that will be used for monitoring throughout surgery and afterwards in the ICU. After your IV lines have been placed, your surgeon will meet with you before going back to surgery and will initial your chest to confirm your identity and type of surgery you are receiving. From pre-op, you will be wheeled back into surgery where your team of caring and highly proficient surgeons and staff will be waiting. There are three operating rooms dedicated to cardiac surgeries. They are large rooms that accommodate the needed technology for your procedure, including a heart-lung machine, monitors, standard technologies to support you during and after your surgery. Many staff will be attending to you during your operation. After your surgery, your family will be called into a consultation room for a meeting with the surgeon. Following your surgery, the surgical team will move you to the Surgical Intensive Care Unit, or the SICU, where you will be placed in a private room. Your family will be notified as soon as you are settled into your room and it is safe for them to visit. This may take up to an hour. You will still be asleep during their initial visit. We embrace the family as part of our patient-centered care approach. We ask that your family be an active member on your road to recovery. 
there are also times when it may not be best to visit. So please, check with the nurse prior to visiting. Only two visitors are permitted at a time. Wash your hands before entering and leaving the patient's room. One adult may stay overnight in your room. Check with your nurse before bringing children under the age of 12 into the room. And please, do not visit if you are sick. Your nurse will work with you to communicate these needs. Every day throughout your stay, your surgeon and care team will meet to discuss your progress and develop a plan for the day. Your care goals will be written on your whiteboard in your room. We encourage you to participate in these rounds and ask your care team if there are any questions you have about your plan of care. Your surgeon will receive frequent updates regarding your progress from the various members of the care team. Initially, you will be on a ventilator after surgery. Your nurse, respiratory therapist, and surgical team will work together to determine when it is appropriate to remove the breathing tube and breathing machine. Your fluid intake will be limited after surgery and your nurse will communicate any restrictions regarding your diet. We ask that any visitors check with your nurse before offering you anything to eat or drink. Nursing staff will provide you with the incentive spirometer that will help exercise your lungs. You will also be provided with a special heart pillow that you can use to splint over your chest to assist in coughing and deep breathing. Your participation in these exercises is an important part of your recovery. You can expect to have a bladder catheter, drains, and IVs connected to you after surgery. These will be removed in the days following your procedure. Throughout your entire hospital stay, your care team will work with you to keep your pain at a minimum. It is common to experience some discomfort after surgery, even with pain medication. Staff will continually assess your pain, but please be sure to let your care team know when you are experiencing pain. It is important for your recovery to begin moving around as soon as your surgeon feels that it is appropriate. This typically means your nurse will begin assisting you out of bed the evening of your surgery. Our goal before leaving the ICU is to have you sitting in a chair and walking several times per day to assist you in returning to your preoperative activity level. A member of your nursing team will check in with you at least every hour while you are in the hospital, assessing your pain and any needs. This check will be recorded on the clock on the whiteboard in your room. Your surgeon is represented 24 hours a day by a physician assistant or nurse practitioner who also makes frequent assessments of your medical condition. The PA or NP makes rounds with your surgeon, reviews concerns, and makes appropriate changes in the orders for your treatment or tests. They determine with your surgeon when you are ready to move out of the ICU to our progressive care unit to east. Sometimes this can happen as early as the day after surgery. However, there are times that a patient may need to stay in the ICU a day or two longer. Your surgeon and care team will keep you updated about when you can transfer. After you leave the SICU, you'll be transferred to your private room on 2 East. This is where you will stay until you go home. While you're staying in the SICU focused on immediate needs following your surgery, the focus on 2 East is for you to become more independent. On 2 East, your nurse will be caring for you as well as a few other patients. Here we will continue to work on goals developed in SICU as well as prepare you for discharge. On 2 East, we will continue the path to recovery that began in SICU with emphasis on pain control, increasing your activity, and breathing exercises. With your participation and effort, we will work to get you back to your preoperative level of independence as soon as possible. During our daily rounds, we will also discuss your discharge needs. Social workers and case managers are available to help coordinate any special needs you may have. At the time of discharge, we will go over what will take place as you recover at home. We work towards the discharge time before 11 a.m. as this will get you home early so that you may settle in and get comfortable for the day. Before discharge, you will receive discharge instructions and a wristband to wear with your surgeon's office phone number. Remember, we want you to call your surgeon with any questions or concerns. Also, your follow-up appointments will be made for you. We encourage you to fill your prescriptions here at the main pharmacy so you have everything you need when you return home. Once you are home, an office nurse will call you within the first few days to check on you. They will update your surgeon regarding your progress and they will be happy to answer any questions you may have. Always remember to call the phone number on your wristband with questions or concerns. After 30 days, you will continue your care with your Michigan Heart Cardiologist.
Thank you for watching this cardiac surgical experience video. I sincerely hope you found it helpful in preparing for your upcoming operation. And thank you for choosing St. Joe's. It is a true privilege to care for you, and we are confident that you will receive the very best comprehensive and compassionate care during your stay.